Which you guys got another video. Why does my PC keep crashing for no reason? I get this question all the time and I see people on our Discord server talking about their PC keeps crashing when they're playing games or maybe they've got issues with their PC and they don't know what to do. So here's the first thing you can do is open up Event Viewer and inside Event Viewer, you're going to be able to see some of the log files for why your PC is crashing. You obviously need to find out whether the issue is related to software or whether the issue is related to hardware. Now we've got the program open. Let's open up the Windows logs and you can see application security setup system. We're going to be looking in the system because the system is crashing and we want to know what is going on. So you should see these errors with these red circles with an exclamation mark in them. These are what's happening to your system installation failure. And you can go through here and find out at a particular time and date what is happening to your PC. This is really essential for troubleshooting and finding out what is going on and what's causing the crash on your computer. Now, of course, if you're a Windows tweaker, they recommend that you turn off all of the Windows logs. And this will be another issue for you because you now won't have any logs to look at because you've disabled that feature. This can be really handy to troubleshoot and find out what is actually happening. And it will give you a, a set time and a set date. So look at this critical one here. Let's just assume that this is happening every time you play a game or it's happening on your system at a certain point when you're doing something. What you can do is go over to the create a custom view on the particular error that's happening. And this will open up a create a custom view. Inside here, you can see logged anytime and you can select a time for the logs that were happening. So over the last seven days, right now, the last hour, and so on and so on. So you can do over the last seven days if you want to and put in, say for instance, critical warning and other things like error. And this will give you information about the critical errors, the warnings that you're receiving and error codes on that system over the last, say, 30 days that I've got it set to here. If you set it to by log, this will give us the log file. And now you can see event logs. It's only saying system, but if we open up the little plus sign here and on the drop down, we can now select application, security, and system. You can also go down further even inside this little list here. There's another one where you can check mark, uh, say for instance, hardware. Let's have a look here, hardware events right there. And there's other ones in here as well, which might be useful to you if it's a software based issue as well. So we're just going to check mark these and we're now set. We're going to set this to all events IDs and we can see the user, all users, and we can now set it to the computer, all computer. We've got it set how we want it and we can now click OK. And what this is going to do is organize them for us in a nice organized fashion so we can now view them properly. We're going to give this a name and we're going to call this something like, say, PC crashed or something like that inside this box here. Let's just go ahead and put PC crashed or PC crash, whatever you want to do. You can put yours in there and we can now click OK for all users. And this will basically give us a nice list of uh, crashes that we've received. There we go. So now they're all in order over the period of time that we've set it for. And they've got date and time and the source of the problem and the event ID code. This is really useful for tracking down what's causing a problem. Maybe it's a Windows update issue. Maybe it's a crash of your game. Maybe it's a driver issue. You'll get all this information listed here. Now, if this crash is happening on a regular basis, then this is going to be really easy to find out what is causing that crash. It's going to give you some information. So when you click on these, it will give you information in the event log down below. You can click on the source up the top here and it will line them all up here for you. You can either click the event ID, the task category, or you can click on level, or you can click on time and date to sort of get them organized the way you want. Once you get this done, you can then look in this little box here and this will give you the information that is going on. It will tell you the exception code uh, that's happened. It will give you the fault 
offset and a load of other things like uh, fault in process ID and other things like that. Now there's another useful tool inside Windows which you can check, which is called View Reliability. The reliability history will give you the history that's happening to your PC, either crashes and other incidences that are happening on your PC. You can see them all listed here, critical events, and there's one particular critical event here that kept happening to my PC and it stopped working. So this is a great way to find out what's causing the problem. And you can see it's highlighted on the timeline here. You can go into this information here and this will give you more information about it, just like the event ID did. And what you're doing here is building up information to what is causing the problem so you can investigate it further. Now you can see there's a long list here and this is related to Armory Crate or Armory device, which is to do with Armory Crate uh, software. So I know that this issue is related to software and you can literally work out what is causing the problem and then either uninstall that software or update it or look for other ways of trying to fix it. So this event keeps happening, as you can see here, every day it kept happening and we've got the timeline here and this can be very useful. You may have, have other events happening as well, but just concentrate on the date and time that the event keeps happening. Now, I know a lot of people don't like reinstalling Windows, but this is a really easy way of determining whether it's a software related issue or a hardware related issue. If you reinstall Windows and the problem goes away, then you know it was a software related issue. If the problem still exists after you reinstall Windows, it's more than likely going to be related to a hardware related issue. And you can then start going down troubleshooting for hardware related issues rather than software related issues. It's a quick and easy way of troubleshooting your problem that you may be having with your system. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't like to reinstall Windows, but it is the quickest way to find out. Now, another thing that you're going to be able to look at is blue screen of death dump files. You can use a piece of software called Who Crashed, and this will give you information about the dump files if they've been created on the system. This will give you information about what is causing the blue screen and what is causing that crash. And it could be related to a driver and it could be related to some sort of other issue. And you'll get some more information from this. So you can do this software, it's free, and click the analyze button and it will analyze your system. And if there's mini dump files in that directory, it will find them all. And now if you keep having regular crashes, you'll get the information here. Now, this can sometimes tell you whether it's related to your graphics driver or something along those lines. And you can then go and remove all of them drivers from your system and try to update them and reinstall them or do a fresh install Windows. And this sometimes can help uh, resolve the problem. Now, again, if you refuse to uh, reinstall Windows and do all of this uh, sort of troubleshooting, then you're just going to go around in circles. And this is the easiest way to try and find out whether you've got a hardware related issue. Now, the next frustrating problem I see people trying to contend with is troubleshooting hardware related issues. And that's because they don't have any spare hardware, which is known good hardware to swap out with the so-called troublesome piece of hardware. It could be a graphics card. If you swap it out with another one and the problem goes away, it's more than likely to do with the graphics card. If it's crashing and you change the power supply out and the problem goes away, it's a power supply issue. And you can generally work out what is causing the problem by doing this. It's a simple and easy way to troubleshoot hardware related issues. Unfortunately, as a home user, they don't have this stuff readily available and it can make you go round in circles. So once you open up this PC, if you want to check to see whether your blue screen of death dump files are enabled, you can go in here, right click on this PC and go properties. And this will open up this once you open the advanced uh, settings here, go into startup and recovery, and you should see the system failure settings here. Automatically restart means that the system will just automatically restart and you won't get a screenshot of 
the actual blue screen itself. If you take this check mark out, it will freeze on the screen and you'll be able to see what it says at the bottom. This can be really useful for working out whether it's related to a certain driver, a DLL file, or something like that. You can change your settings in here for the debugging area, for automatic memory dumps, or whatever you want to set yours to. And that's pretty much it, really. Uh, once you've got this set, if you do get a crash on your PC, you need to determine straight away whether it's software related or hardware related. Once you know what that is, you can then go ahead and start concentrating on the troubleshooting method for either software or hardware. If you don't do any of this stuff, you're just going to go around in circles and end up pulling your hair out. And it can be a right nightmare for people that don't know what they're doing. And jumping on a forum and just saying, hey, my PC keeps crashing when I play this game, it really doesn't help. And it's not going to be very helpful because you need to determine very quickly whether it's software or hardware. And you can use these methods to try and work out uh, how to fix your problem. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a shout out to all my YouTube members who are joining my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat, or I'll see you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.